Oh. You see him? Hi guys, this is Matthias, and I'm coming at you here with a video where I'll be talking about aim, motor skills, and of course also some of the differences that you probably experience if you play this game with a console controller rather than a mouse and keyboard, such as the way I do. The way I see it, your aim should be based on reflexes. Most of the times it should be a twitch moment with either your arm or your wrist, depending on what sensitivity you use or what technique you use, but it should never be something you have to think about while doing it. Now for obvious reasons, one of the most important things when it comes to getting good aim is that you have settings that works for you. This is very personal and you should never try to just copy somebody else's settings, even though it is well worth listening to those that have more experience than you have yourself. So yeah, learn from but do not straight up copy high skilled players. This video is going to be full of examples where I either have to be very precise in difficult situations or I have to turn my aim really quickly in order to hit the target. Some examples will actually have a bit of both. You can't believe how insane it is. Even I get killed through that. See how good it is? What? The full mag. Go on, dice your drink. We, we both shot and we both killed each other. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking sick. Now me, I'm a low sense player. I always have been. I need to move my hand about 38 centimeters in order to turn my character around a full 360 degrees. Meaning that in these situations where I have to turn around and shoot somebody that is attacking me from behind, I normally move my hand from left to right almost 20 centimeters. So I'm sure you understand that I do need a quite big mouse pad. Now, unfortunately, if you play on console, a lot of the tips that I'm giving here are not going to fully apply to you. But practicing this correctly, being aware of it, and figuring out what settings works for you is going to help a lot of people get better. Also important to keep in mind is that, aside from aim, there are a lot of other factors that plays in also when it comes to your success in a game such as Battlefield. Using the right weapon for the right situation, knowing how to use that weapon properly, you want to benefit from the strength of whatever weapon you choose, and you want to suffer as little as possible from its weaknesses. Take this weapon for example, it's the Farquhar Hill Optical. One of the things about this weapon is that it is very accurate even if you spam it really fast. This means that it's really good at medium and longer medium ranges. Just remember that when you shoot at moving targets at certain ranges, you have to actually start leading, meaning that you have to put your aim ahead of the target instead of straight on it. Now unfortunately for this time I've already used up all the material that I could have used for showcasing leading but I'll try to remember to make a video about that specifically Always later on in the future. Now there's also the matter of controlling the weapon's recoil and horizontal drift. But the fact is that with most weapons in Battlefield 1, but the one exception to that I think I should say is probably this one, the SMG-08. Oh, behind, behind. Good call. Good call. For the most part though, Especially when it comes to medic weapons and support weapons, the game itself helps you with the handling. Some of the medic weapons just requires you to wait a little bit between each shot, there's not much else you need to do. And with most support weapons, they just get more accurate the more you fire them. Oh, behind. Good call. Hit. Two hit. Oh. Got him, got him, got him. He sniped me from A. Are you kidding? These fucking snipers. Oh. You want those 
So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. My name is Matthias, and I want to thank you all for watching. Dr. Matti is here, don't worry. I'm out of ammo! We have lost I speak English only, sorry. I little understand English. <laughs> Yeah, this weapon is insane at that range. Be a revive there, so I'll drop a nade. Oh, so you can even long shot with it. Well, it's because he was hurt from before. Shit, I picked up another weapon. Oh, it's the Farquhar Hill. This one is insane. Oh. 
Füße auf die Beine. Ich sehe mir die Wunde an. We have taken objective Edward. Ich helfe dir. Holy shit, this weapon is... Why am I not using this one more? This one is crazy good.